Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be discussing whether or not I think Grant Gustin will be in the Flash movie. And if he is, what I think the show will do to connect that to the show. Um, if you enjoyed the video, again, assuming it happens. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for support. I appreciate it. Enjoy this video. So... Under 24 hours ago, point time I'm recording this, I just uploaded another video talking about the Flash season 9 being confirmed, which it is. Um, but the interesting thing is that the Flash movie is coming out later this year. I'm pretty sure it's this year. And it would release around the same time of the Flash season 9 premiering. I think it was said that it's like a couple weeks from the Flash season 9 premiere, the Flash movie will go up or like after the Flash season 9 premieres the Flash movie will go out um, I don't remember the exact timeline but it was somewhere around there so it's going to be pretty damn close if Grant is in this movie he has the time to do a guest star in it and a new one not one that's copied from Cross and Infinite Earth you know I, I wouldn't be surprised if they reused that scene in some way but at the same time, I wouldn't like a new one. <laughs> um, maybe Grant, like, giving Ezra Sperry, like, advice on suits or something. I don't know. <laughs> it, it would be cool to see just them on the same screen, let alone on the movie screen, because it'd be new for Grant, for at least this character to have on a movie screen. Um, or at least for his character to be on the big screen. So, it would definitely be something to see. And I... I think the best way to connect it to the Flash Season 9, which if he is in the movie, I would expect them to at least reference the fact that he was in the movie. Somehow, some way. Because, obviously, if this is set in post-crisis, and this is set in present timeline, where Barry has the gold boots and all that, you know... The multiverse, <laughs> you know, it would be connected through that. And there's no way Barry wouldn't talk to Team Flash about that. So, and the other heroes about it. So, I do think if they, if Grant appears in this movie, it'll be some connection to um, the multiverse. Obviously, because of Ezra's Flash on our Earth. And on some level, it would connect. Again, the DC and the universe is the same universe, or at least multiverse, but it would also bring in the other shows for open crossovers like Stargirl, crossing over with Flash and Superman and Lois, um, bringing in other characters from different like past shows or whatever. It would open that up again, because right now, the only connection with the, the multiverse is the fact that Jay Garrick's that Jay Garrick appeared in Stargirl, and now he's on Earth Earth somehow. How, we don't know, but he was on Earth 2, and now he's on Earth Prime. So, that's really the only connection to the multiverse we have, which again connected Stargirl to the Arrowverse, so it very well could happen. Um, I would like it to happen, <laughs> honestly. Um, but I, I do think that um, this won't really only change the Flash. Um, assuming he finds out the multiverse first, which would fit because this is the biggest show in the Arrowverse. Next to Superman and Lois. I think Superman and Lois was recently said as the biggest show on CW right now. And Flash is like third next to All-American. Um, which is pretty good for CW shows. DC TV CW shows. So, <laughs> we'll take it. Especially for Flash. I'm surprised it's number three and not lower after season seven, but season eight kind of brought back, but you all know what I'm talking about. But the point is, I think that if Grant's in the movie, there will 100% be a time for Stargirl and Flash to cross over. That's been a crossover I've been wanting for the last couple years, Stargirl and Flash, just because I think the interaction between Court and Bear will be something that we haven't had since like Barry and Oliver or Barry and Kara. It'll be something like that. That's why I want to see them screen together. I mean, Stargirl hasn't really interacted with any heroes outside of her own team. 
She didn't interact with Jay because that was flashbacks. I mean, she hasn't interacted with any heroes outside of her own team. I think it would be really cool to see Grant and Courtney, or Barry and Courtney, crossing over. Which, again, would happen because of this movie. Grant being in a movie connecting the multiverse to the Arrowverse. And Grant realizing, oh my god, there's a multiverse now. And they explore these other Earths, and they find Stargirl's Earth, and boom, there you go, there's a crossover. That would be something that would make Season 9 a hundred thousand times better for me as a fan of Stargirl and The Flash to see. Um, and whether or not there'll be a big bad in it, who knows. But it could also open up other doors for future villains on the show of The Flash. Like Red Death, if they really wanted to do Bruce Wayne... They could say, hey, he's from another Earth. This is evil Bruce Wayne, like it is in the comics. And here you go. That's the way they could do it. If they want to do right death, which I'm pretty damn sure they will be soon. Season 9, if he was in the movie, if they don't find out the multiverse before then, that's a great way to do it. Here's the multiverse. There's a billion Bruce Waynes. One of them's an evil Batman turned, killed the Flash. Took the speed force, became right death, destroyed several Earths, and now he's on Earth Prime. Here he is. I think that would be a great story arc. Assuming they do it right. <laughs> and again, it would all happen because of the Flash movie. I don't like giving Ezra Miller credit. And I probably won't. <laughs> it's probably the only time I'm going to give Ezra Miller credit. But if it wasn't for his Flash, we really wouldn't have the possibility of this even happening. That being said, and and by this even happening, I'm, again, speculating that Grant will be in the movie. But, you know, <laughs> um, who knows? Honestly, because of COVID, even if it wasn't because of COVID, I don't know if Grant really would. I think he would be open to it, but I, I think it would really come down to the writing and whether or not it'd be good. That's the question. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I think... Um, I'm not really excited for the Flash movie, just to put it out there. I don't like Ezra's Flash, mainly because it's just so screwed up. <laughs> and, I don't know, I I think the Flash movie is going to redeem Ezra's Flash. But at the same time, I feel like it's just going to ruin everything. Because I, I don't trust the DCU. I don't like the DCU movies. So, you know, I... The only thing that will make me happy for the Flash movie is if Grant's in it. And Michael Keaton, because he's in it. And it's Michael Keaton. <laughs> if you don't like Michael Keaton, I don't know what's wrong with you, but there's clearly something wrong. If you don't like Michael Keaton, it's Batman. I mean, that's, like, pretty cool Batman right there. It's, like, the best live-action Batman ever. So if you don't like Michael Keaton, there's something legitimately wrong with you. <laughs> and I mean that. <laughs> and I'm not joking. <laughs> Um, but, and also, having Grant Gustin and Michael Keaton in the same effing movie, um, that's gonna be a lot of money sold. That, for the movie. That's good, that, that movie's gonna make a lot of money. Seeing Grant and Michael Keaton in the same movie. I mean, where else would you get that? <laughs> Nowhere, because it wouldn't happen anywhere else. I would like that. What I it would be even cooler if Grant interacted with Michael Keaton, but it won't happen. <laughs> Let's just be real for a minute. It won't happen. Would I like it? Yes. Would Grant like it? More than likely. But <laughs> it won't happen. Um or maybe Supergirl from his Earth. I, although I'm assuming again he's in the movie, which this is awesome he is. I mean, everyone's assuming Grant's in the movie because of the simple fact that Ezra's Flash literally would not be a thing if it wasn't for Grant, right? This movie is set up the way it is with Ezra's new lightning, Ezra's new suit. It all came from somewhere. It all came from an idea that he had or saw. And if you look at the suit, what's the closest thing to a suit that would give him an idea 
for that suit, Grant. And when did that happen? Crossing in from the nurse. Part four. Three, four, four. Part four. Um, I mean, they were talking about their suits, and Ezra really liked Grant's suit. So, you know, I mean, you can see it in the photos in the background of the video. It's not exactly like Grant's suit, and you wouldn't expect it to be. But, I mean, it has that white emblem, the yellow orangish lightning striking throughout the suit a lot more than Grant's suit does, but it still looks cool. It has those earpieces, which are like look a lot more like the 90s flash, which I love. But it's also, you can kind of see it like, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of, from what we saw, it looks like it's 90s flash mixed in with a little bit of Grant's flash. With like the round at the bottom of the parts going back. But it's their own design of it. And that's what makes the helmet look good. Mine's a chin strap. <laughs> they need a chin strap. Because there was a scene in the trailer that looked ugly. And I hated it. <laughs> but, I mean, I do hope they tie in some connection to Ezra getting inspiration for his new suit by Grant's Flash. Even if they don't say it, we all know what it is. I mean, look at that suit. <laughs> There's no way in hell... That they're going to say Grant's Flash and not influence Ezra's Flash's new suit. It, you can't say that. Look at the suit. It is so red. It has It's yellow lightning, which he didn't have before. So how they're going to explain that, who the hell knows. And, I mean, it, it just... I think this suit's going to be a connection between Grant and Ezra that will bring Grant in somehow. Or maybe they'll do a flash patch across the window saying how Ezra got the new suit idea. I don't know. It's going to be something to look at and be like, either this will be really good or this will be really bad. <laughs> and I don't think it'll come down to Grant. I think it'll come down, not even to Ezra, really. I think it'll come down to the writers in the movie, how good they are, which some of the stuff we've seen, I'm, I'm not impressed with. <laughs> I mean... I guess it was Red Death or something in the movie, and it's literally a Keen suit with a lightning bolt drawn on it. Like, I don't know if people saw that in the trailer, but it's literally a red Keen bat suit, and it's a Keen bat suit, it looks exactly like it, with a Keen bat symbol that was yellow, and I'm pretty sure it was yellow. And I'm pretty sure it was a yellow lightning bolt, dead or red, one of the two. Literally, like, drawn by hand with a crayon. <laughs> like, it looks like it was scribbled over the top of the bat symbol. It looked ugly as hell. <laughs> so, that's what's worrying me. And let alone, that's the other Flash's suit. There's two Flashes in this movie already. Both are Ezra Miller, and one of the Ezra Miller Flashes... Has one of the ugliest flashes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I'm assuming that one has no chin strap, because why would it? <laughs> um, because this is to give Ezra Miller no chin strap, apparently. But whatever, the point is, I do think Grant will be in this movie, because why wouldn't he? I mean, I, I don't see him not being in this movie. They, they're not denying everything, probably because they haven't been able to ask Grant, but. And Ezra doesn't do press, I don't think, but. Well, I guess the movie isn't, like, there yet, but. You know what I mean? I. They would deny it straight up. It would be like everyone asking Andrew Garfield who's in the Spider-Man movie. Spoiler alert, he was. And he just said no non-stop because he wanted it as a fan service. He wanted it for us, the fans, to enjoy seeing those scenes with Andrew in the movie. They would just deny it. So us guessing Grant or Ezra or whoever runs the Flash movie or is directing it. It would just be pointless because they would just say no, 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 no. You know, they probably would be. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, would I like to see Grant in a movie? Yes. I I, I think it would make the movie a hundred times better. Especially with with um, what we've been getting from Grant lately on The Flash. Which has been amazing. I mean, Grant's always been an amazing actor. I've always loved him and everything he does. But season 7, he went down in that thing. It wasn't on him, it was because of writing. And also COVID didn't help anything. But season 8, he really brought it back 
to what felt like an OG Flash season. Which is why I've been saying this entire time about season 8. But does anyone listen to me? Nope. <laughs> and I, I've, like I said, I've been saying this from the beginning. Season 8 is a time where if you're an OG Flash fan, you come back. And they're going to stick with that throughout the rest of the season. I believe that. And I'm going to keep believing that. Probably going to season 9. And again, crossover time. Here's the multiverse. Here's the Flash movie. Here's Stargirl. Crossover. Boom. You got an amazing crossover. Both shows. New connections. There you go. Simple as that. That's what I think could happen. And that's what I'm hoping will happen. And yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And have a good day, have a good night. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be up in roughly a day or a little bit over. <laughs> roughly 24 hours, we'll see. Somewhere around there. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.